Well, listen to this. A 29-year-old woman was killed after an apparently suicidal man jumped from a parking garage in San Diego and landed on her, killing her instantly. A family and friends are remembering Taylor Cawley as a hardworking, fiercely loyal person who was just days away from turning 30 years old. She wasn't just an employee. She always referred to me as her second mom because her mom passed away and, you know, and I have one daughter and if my daughter ends up like her, I'll be very proud. Well, police say the man who jumped died at the hospital. Now, a man who was walking with Kali on Sunday was not injured. So for more on this story, I'm joined now by Kasha Gregorczyk. She's a reporter from our station in San Diego. And Kasha, what can you tell us about this? I mean, it's so tragic. And frankly, it's hard to believe this actually happened. Yeah, Nicole, as a journalist, we cover a variety of stories, and this one, frankly, is just very hard to wrap our head around. We're told it happened on Sunday night. Uh, upon talking with Taylor Colley's close friends, we learned she was on a second date walking with someone that, you know, she barely knew, walking through the East Village, which is part of downtown here in San Diego, enjoying her night. And uh, when this all unfolded, this suicidal man, we just confirmed with the coroner's office today that it was ruled a suicide. Next of kin has not been notified, so his identity is not being released at this time. But he jumped from a parking structure above and, as you mentioned, landed on her, just really struggling to find the words to describe how something like this could happen. A freak accident comes to mind. A lot of people close to her really struggling to come to terms with how something like this happens just completely out of the blue. This woman, 29-year-old Taylor Colley, just days away from celebrating her 30th birthday. Well, so tragic there, Kasha. And now I know you mentioned the man she was on that second date with. So they were walking along and unbelievably, he wasn't hurt. It seems like the suicidal man then just landed directly on Taylor. That's exactly how we understand it. And actually looking at the sidewalk, something kind of interesting that I took and it felt as if how this all happened he was probably doing the gentleman thing walking closer to the road and she was on the kind of inner part of the sidewalk closer to the parking structure so unbelievably so this man fell directly on her the man she was with uninjured we do know the man who fell from the structure was taken to the hospital and later died but unfortunately Kali was pronounced dead here at the scene in downtown San Diego she was an only child uh, her 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 mother had passed away a few years ago, so that woman we heard from, Laurel McFarlane, uh, that was kind of like a second mother to her. That was her boss. She worked for her for nine years for an event company here in San Diego. She started as an intern, was very close with that woman we spoke with. Her father lives here in San Diego, but he was um, not ready to talk just yet as this was all so fresh. Oh, yeah, understandably uh, on that one. All right, reporter Kasha Gorgorchuk, thank you so much for speaking with us this evening. We appreciate it.